pretty girl privilege, pretty girl rock, pretty girl rock is all I think about. A lot of pretty girls, they go through things that people don't even know. The ugly truth about pretty girl privilege is that they go through things behind closed doors that we don't know about. We see the outside and we see how cute they are and how pretty they are, how much they get praised for being so beautiful and gorgeous. But they're dealing with someone, someone who may not make them feel that they're pretty. They're always dealing with something in the inside to where they have to be pretty because now it's an image that they have to hold up. And that was me before. I had to hold up this image of being cute and pretty. Cute and pretty. Got me abused. All of this to it. And I couldn't believe it. I hid it for a long time. And I was like, this ain't supposed to happen to me. But was it always that way? Was I always cute and pretty? No, I didn't feel like it. I used to make myself up. Because I'm like, I want to be pretty. And then when I started getting all of this attention by guys, I got the wrong attention. And when I got the wrong attention, I got haters. And then when I got haters, I started to feel hate inside of me. And so that's another thing, too. That's why God said it's not all about being pretty all the time. It's about how you feel in the inside and how you act. Because when I feel ugly, I will act ugly. And sometimes people who are so pretty, they begin to just care about themselves and they become pretty and that's just it. They're not a pretty person though. It's just the outside. Their spirit isn't pretty. And let's talk about, okay, so for the ugly ducklings and the ones who weren't pretty before, but now they're pretty, this is what they don't tell you. They did that because they got talked about so much. They had to make themselves beautiful. And once they got all the praise that they wanted, thought that they wanted, they didn't want it no more. And then it came with a lot of pretty girl problems that they couldn't erase. And then it started to mess with their mental. It changed them to a different person. Now they don't care about people because they hate people now. All this pretty girl stuff turned into a pretty girl nightmare. So it's not about the outside and being just pretty. It's about how do you really feel? What are you being pretty for? So for me now, when I do make myself up, I do it because, you know, I love makeup for one. Not only do I just love makeup, but I love that it enhances my beauty, period, inside and out. Okay, but I can go without makeup. I really can. There's days where I go without makeup and I get way more compliments than when I have on makeup. So I'm like, it's not the makeup, but I make sure that I do it for me. I don't do it because of someone else. Okay, so this message is for anyone who is dying to be pretty. No, it's about you in the inside. Yes, make yourself up, but don't let it be for other people. Do it in the self-love type of way. A lot of pretty privileged people, they're not doing it for the right reasons. And that's the reason why they're broken in the inside. And people don't believe that. People always think, nah, mm -mm, yes. You only will know if you go through that. And me, I have went through that. I have went through the ugly side, the stressed out side, the not healthy side, the healthy side, the self-love side, the self-hate side. And I'm here today to say, it's not all about being pretty. But if you are pretty, make sure you're doing it for yourself and no one else. If you didn't get nothing from this message, do it for yourself. Because when those compliments run out, you're going to be feeling bad anyway. If they start to hate on you and target you because you're pretty, you're going to be feeling bad anyway. But if you already accept yourself for who you are, you won't have to worry about what people say. And that's just that. And that's just on period. And that's what God wanted me to tell you today. Love yourself. That is the ugly truth about pretty privileged people.